Welcome back to another episode of Learning to Code. In previous lectures, we have learned that Apex, like other programming languages, has basic building blocks or tools to help us program. In this lecture, we'll introduce another cool Apex tool, the loop. Loops are great because they allow you to take a piece of your code and repeat it over and over again. Neat, right? Apex has three types of looping tools, and in this lecture, we'll talk through two of them while loops and do while loops. What is a loop? At their most basic level, loops are pretty simple. They allow us to do something over and over again. Let's walk through this while loop. The loop starts. While loops check for the condition first before doing anything. If the condition is met, then it's going to do something and check for the condition again. If the condition is not met, the loop stops. Now, let's walk through this do while loop. The loop starts. It's going to do something first and later check if the condition is met. If the condition is met, then it'll do something again. If not, the loop stops. While and do while loops are pretty similar. They both look to see if a particular condition is met and do something. The main difference is when they look for the condition to be met. While loops check for the condition before the loop starts and do while loops check for the condition after the first loop has completed. This may seem like a trivial matter, but it can have pretty big consequences. The difference is that a do while loop always runs at least once, while a while loop might never run, depending on the condition that we are using. A basic while loop is pretty simple and has the following structure. Everything between the two curly braces is the block of code that will run with every iteration of the loop. As mentioned earlier, both the while and do while loops allow us to loop through code and test a condition to control how many times we repeat the loop. So, how do they differ? Let's look at the basic syntax of a do while loop. As you can see, the do code block to be repeated is stated before the while condition, and therefore, the code block will always run at least once. While we write code, there will be many times where you would want to compare things. The following symbols are all comparison operators whose whole job is to compare the stuff on their left to the stuff on their right. Less than, less than or equal to, equal to, not equals, greater than, and greater than or equal to. Let's look at these two statements. Here on the left, we are asking a question. Is the left side of me equivalent to the right side of me? This would return true or false. But here on the right, we are assigning a value of b to a. In Apex, a single equal sign is an assignment operator, which means we use it to assign a value to a variable. But why would we use a do while loop instead of a while loop? An example that is probably more apt is perhaps a login prompt. We want to collect some input, maybe a password from the user, and then check to see if the password is valid. If the password is valid, then we let the user log in and end the loop. If the password is invalid, then we ask again. We would use a do while loop to achieve this because we would want to ask the user for password at least once. There are no hard and fast rules about whether to use a do while loop versus a while loop, but generally, I use the following guidelines. If I want the code to run at least once, regardless of the condition, then I use a do while loop. Otherwise, I use a while loop. So by now, I hope you're pretty excited by these loops. I wanted you to take a moment and think about what would happen if you ran the following code. Can you see where the problem is? Here's what we're saying. Set the variable k to 10. While k is greater than 0, then loop through and do something. Can you spot what we're missing? Take a look at that criteria for the loop and the value of k. Is it ever going to get to 0? If variable k starts with a value of 10 and we never decrease it, then its value will always be greater than 0. What we have here is an infinite loop, that is, a loop that never stops. In order to stop an infinite loop situation, we need to add some way to decrement the value of k, so that we would eventually fail the looping criteria and the loop will stop. 
So let's add decrement operator k minus minus. This is going to decrease the value of k by 1 with every iteration of the loop. So the danger with while and do while loops is you must always put in an escape hatch by building in a way to stop the loop. Normally, this is done by setting a variable before the loop starts or setting a condition that tests for a value of the variable or you can also increment or decrement the value of the variable so that after the specified number of iterations, your loop will stop. There are other loops for and for each that don't have this kind of a problem. I'll introduce them in the next lecture. In summary, I've introduced you to while and do while loops available in Apex. The most important things to remember are both allow you to repeat a block of code and both allow you to test a condition to control how many times to repeat the code. Conditions that test true trigger an iteration of the loop. Conditions that are false do not trigger an iteration of the loop. While loops test the condition before the loop runs. This means if the condition is false before the first loop, then the loop will never run. Whereas do while loops test the condition after each round of the loop. This means they always run at least once. And another important thing to remember is always build an escape hatch, a way to stop the loop, so you don't create an infinite loop. We also learned about different comparison operators, which compare stuff on the left to the stuff on the right, and come back with a boolean value, true or false. And a single equal sign is used to assign a variable to a value. We also have post increment and decrement operators that let us increase the value of an integer variable by 1 or decrease the value by 1. I hope you found the while and do while loops exciting. In the next lecture, we'll talk about for loops.